Hi everybody, welcome back to this random journey. It is day seven of our 10,000 step challenge. I'm sitting at about 2,000 steps, I think. It's around one o'clock. So we went to church this morning and uh, as you can tell, it's snowing again and it's so cold, it's five degrees. Um, but I'm walking to Michael's work. He had to work, uh, run to work. And so I'm just gonna go walk down there and meet him and drive back with him just so I get some steps in, but it's so cold. Um, but anyways, it's so pretty, so I, I'm just enjoying the, the beauty of it. So we went to church this morning and um, after church, we had a church business meeting. So that's why we're so late getting home. We've got to get lunch and then we're going to be going out to my aunt's house um, to hang out. They're, the guys are going to watch the Super Bowl. Um, I'm not a huge fan and neither is my husband of football. But you know what? You do what you have to do to hang out with family. <laughs> so um, we love to hang out with our family. Love getting to spend time with them. So we're willing to to be around football and all that kind of thing um, and hang out with them. My hand's about to freeze off. Um, so I'm not going to video much longer. But I am, like I said, sitting about 2,000 steps. I'm probably going to be walking outside a few times today just because I know it's cold, but just because I need to get these steps in and I do not want to pace 50,000 times inside. So I'm going to withstand the cold. It's worth it for my health. Um, keep telling myself that, that you know what, I can endure the cold because it is worth it um, to be able to say that I'm being healthier. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to continue this walk. I'm going to get a glove on this hand that's holding my, my, um, <laughs> holding my phone at the moment. And I will um, bring you guys back throughout the day. All right, I made it to my husband's work. Uh, it was a cold walk. And then I paced in front of his work. Um, back and forth probably, hmm, I don't know, eight or nine times probably. I hopped into the vehicle because my face is so cold and my legs are really cold. So um, I decided I was just going to hop in the car. I knew it was war warm uh, while he's doing his thing. I'm going to take a break, warm up, and just sit here for a minute. I want to just know, show this pretty snowflake. It'll show up. It's starting to melt. <laughs> I got snowflakes all in my hair, too. I'm sitting at 3,644 steps right now. Um, so I have, to have definitely have a ways to go for today. Um, I probably should walk back home. So maybe I'll do that. But right now I'm just trying to get warm. <laughs> Um, but I might go ahead and walk back home so I can get some more steps. Uh, just because I'm so tired of pacing in the house. And it's supposed to be super cold like this all this next week. Like, uh, I think they said it's even supposed to be negative one day. So, it's going to be cold. And so I'm going to have to just brave it and go out in the cold and overcome this this cold. That's what I'm going to have to do. Overcome the cold. <laughs> um... And I think that my body would eventually acclimate or, like, um, get used to the colder weather. It's just making myself go out in the colder weather before that process has happened. Uh, because I know people live where it's colder. Like, my husband's um, biological dad lives in Alaska. And it's, like, negative four there today. So, and he's just used to the cold weather. So, I know that you can acclimate and get used to cold weather. It's just making yourself go out in it when it is cold. So, maybe if I just do that, just push myself and force myself to go out in the cold, I'll get used to it. And I'll be able to, you know, go out when it's ucky out and not have a problem with it. So, I'm basically just complaining today because it's so cold. <laughs> but anyways, um... Yeah, I might walk back home, so we'll see. All right, I've been sitting here for a while. I'm warmed back up. I'm going to walk back home now. I've decided I just need to get the steps, so I might as well walk back home. Um, I did want to note that on the way here, someone saw me walking and asked if I needed a ride. 
uh, somewhere. So that I thought that was super sweet and that kind of just shows that we live in a pretty decent neighborhood um, that somebody would, you know, make sure I was doing okay. So I thought that was kind of sweet and just wanted to note that there are caring people out there that are paying attention and uh, are observant enough to see uh, someone walking down the street when it's super cold out and ask if we need help. I am going to go ahead and walk back home. I'm not going to video outside the vehicle because my hand about got frostbite this last time. Um, so I'm going to be wearing my glove the whole time. When I get home, I will tell you how many steps I got. I just got back from my walk. Michael just walked in the door too. So I'm sitting at 4,572 steps. Um, we're going to get lunch and then get rounded and go to my aunt's house. Alright, I am behind on my water drinking. This will be my first jug today. I haven't even filled it up. Um, so I'm going to get this filled up and get it, hopefully get this drink for relief. And then that way I have fresh water from our house. I'm really funny about the taste of water. So hopefully I can get this drink so that I can have uh, water from home to take with us. I'm going on another quick walk before we go out to my aunt's house. Um, these snowflakes are gigantic. I'm going to turn you guys around so you can see it here in a second. Um, it's about 3 o'clock. I'm sitting at just about 5,500-ish. Um, so after this walk, hopefully I'll be past the 6,000 uh, step mark. Um, but yeah, I want to show you guys these beautiful snowflakes. They're so big. Like, look how gigantic they are. Aren't they so pretty? It's just so pretty watching them come down. Is that maybe against this, um, against this, um, dark background you can see them better. There's huge flakes just coming down like crazy. Anyway, so I'm going on this walk. And then we're gonna leave. Okay, I just got back from my walk. It is 6,939 steps. Still need quite a bit. <laughs> so, uh, I'll work on that. So we're almost to 7,000 steps. So 3,000 more to go. Quite a ways to go still. I might have my husband stop on the road somewhere and <laughs> let me out. I have my second jug of water and we are headed <laughs> headed what a to Super Bowl Sunday. I know right. <laughs> We're headed to my aunt's house um, to hang out. That's very strong. So I'm following Michael. He's driving really slow on this this gravel road that my aunt lives on. And uh, I'm walking the last stretch of the road uh, so that I can get some more steps in for today. Here's Michael, driving really slow, just in case I need to get back in. <laughs> Walked all the way from that corner. He came to check on me. <laughs> Make sure I was doing okay. Alright, that was a pretty long walk. Um, I am at 8,960 steps. Um, I'm going to walk around the house a little bit and try to get to 9,500. And then I should be able to get the last 500 just by, you know, activity throughout the house while I'm here. So... Um, I'm going to work on that, getting a little bit more, not everybody's here yet, so I like to get it, most of my steps in before everybody starts showing up. Um, that way I'm not trying to like pace and, you know, have a good time, so I'm going to work on that. My Aunt Paula has a treadmill, <laughs> so I'm doing my last 1,000 on the treadmill. Okay, we're at 9,945. This incline's killer on this thing. And we're doing a cool down. We got it, guys. 10,000 steps. We made it. Ah, yeah, Is this some yeah. kind of... 
Well, everybody, I'm going to call the video for today so that I can hang out with my family. I hope you enjoyed it. We made it to our 10,000 steps. I'm going to continue drinking on my water so I can get my two jugs of water. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a like. Uh, subscribe for future videos. We're doing daily vlogs. And I will see you again tomorrow.